Yes, yes you can. And here's everything you need. First thing you're going to need is a digital audio workstation. Now, chances are you already have a digital audio workstation of choice, but if you don't, get Cakewalk if you're on Windows. And if you're on a Mac, then GarageBand is the way to go. Think of these free DAWs as a gateway into music production. You're going to use them for a while until you decide whether you want to commit to a fully paid DAW or not. Some audio interfaces come bundled in with an Ableton Live Lite license, which is a stripped down version of Ableton Live. You can use this license to later upgrade to the fully fledged Live suite for a discount and you get to keep the audio interface while you're at it. Moving on to the fun stuff now. All right, so you need to get Vital by Vital Audio. It's a wavetable synthesizer with a very clean and visually appealing interface. And yes, it's heavily inspired by Serum, but hey, it's free. Now there are paid versions of it, but the upgrades don't affect functionality. All you have to do is add some third-party wavetables and you're good to go. I'll link some of my favorites in the description. Up next, we have Helm, which is an open source software synth that is more geared towards electronic music. It has a clean interface and the presets on it are actually usable. Ryzen Mark III is a free software emulation of the core Trident synth. You're getting major analog vibes with this one. Just listen to these luscious sounds. Keeping up with the analog theme, we have Dex, a semi-modular FM synth that is closely modeled after the Yamaha DX7. You get a great analog sound, and the killer feature here is frequency modulation. Another great free tool that you can get that's also completely free is Complete Start by Native Instruments. It's basically a bundle of software synthesizers, sampled instruments, and effects. The amount of value you get from this is insane, and realistically speaking, this bundle has everything that you need to make your first song. If you're looking for quality virtual instruments like a piano or orchestral sounds, the Labs by Spitfire is your choice. This one's stacked with high quality sounds. Granted, you don't get a lot of control over these sounds, but hey, it's a freebie, you can't really complain. And even if you're an intermediate or a professional producer, you can still use Labs as a sketching tool. Alright, so now I want to talk about some compressors. The most obvious one is OTT. It's a staple in any EDM production. It's the sound that you probably heard a thousand times. It's loud, and it's bright, and it's over the top, hence the name. If you're looking for a warmer analog sound, then you've got to get DC1A and MJUCR Jr. MJUCR Junior is a stripped down version of MJUCR, but it still has great functionality and it's particularly good on drums. And if you're looking for more analog stuff, then Analog Obsession makes great and accurate emulations of classic analog units, ranging anywhere from preamps to compressors to EQ. Their stuff is insane and it's completely free. You have to check them out. Now, moving on to effects. For reverb, you need to get ROM by native instruments. And for delay, you gotta get Valhalla Supermassive. Both of these plugins sound great. They sound just as good as their paid counterparts. 
And if you're looking for some distortion plugins, then get Saturation Knob by Softube. It's very easy to use and it sounds great. And there's also Temper by Creative Intent, which I tend to use a lot on dubstep basis. A couple of utility plugins that I also want to talk about are Signalizer, which is an oscilloscope, vectroscope, and a spectrogram. And I also recommend Tone Space by MU Coder, which is a MIDI generation tool that can hopefully help you with that dreadful writer's block. If you're gonna make electronic music, then I recommend any of the free packs by Cymatics, but make sure to diversify the samples so that your stuff doesn't get repetitive. And if you're into Synthwave, then samples.kb6.de is where you need to go. They have sample sets from vintage 70s and 80s drum machines. They have like 300 sample sets. And granted, not all of them are useful, but if you do some digging, you're gonna find some good stuff. And for all my old school hip hop producers out there, I got you covered with some free Jake One drum kits. Quick note, GarageBand does not have a drum sampler, not that I'm aware of, so get Satala by Decomposer, it's a great sampler and the built-in compression is a very welcome addition. Links for everything will be in the description down below. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It is insane the amount of quality that you can get for absolutely free these days and there has never been a great time to get into music production so, so we no longer have any excuses, go out there and make some great music. Anyway, if you went on to find any of the information here informative, make sure to subscribe and have a good day.